everybody. Okay, go. You're good. Okay. okay. Our connection is late today, just some technical difficulty. And if it glitches right at the beginning, hopefully it won't throughout. But good morning. Happy Friday and welcome to Vinyl Friday today. Um, let us know what your weekend plans are. I don't have any fun ones, but let us know what your weekend plans are. If you've got anything fun planned. So today we wanted to do just, I don't know if you've ever converted handwriting into a gift or something like that. This is one, um, this is actually my grandmother's recipe. I'm going to show you how to convert that really quickly on Cricut and then put it on a towel to make a fun gift. So let us know if you've ever done that. If you've converted handwriting or done something like that. So I'm going to go over to my program in design space and hopefully you can see here so really quickly to do it you go to upload you're in design space let me get back out of here so in design space just go to upload on the bottom left hand corner and then upload your image wherever you've got it saved on your computer um, I uh, downloaded several of her recipes and now I can't remember which one, so we'll just pick one of these. It may not be the same one that I'm gonna actually use. So I don't see any comments coming through, so if you guys are here, um, let us know. Yeah, let us know if you're on, and if you've ever done this, let us know, share this if you know somebody that would, would like to do this, something like this, converting handwriting. We've got a couple of people saying they can't see anything in a black screen. That's weird. Hold on just a second. If you're tuning in right now and can't see us, give us a second. We're trying to figure this out. Sorry. So before we get any further, further, we'll try and figure out what might be happening. So Can you see the screen? Give We're us on. a second. We've got a couple of people saying they all they see is a black screen. You got it? Okay. So are people still just seeing a black okay. screen or can more? A lot of people now? are saying they can see and Starla can see, so. Okay. Okay, sure awesome. why there's a black screen, but thank you for commenting. Yes, thank you. <laughs> awesome. This morning is, yeah, just a few technical difficulties. We'll work <laughs> through it. We'll work through it. So back in design oh, okay. space, if you've got your image, um, this is just a picture of a recipe card, recipe that I had of my grandmother's, and it's in her handwriting. So I've got it in there, and now I'm just going to convert it to a cut file. You can choose either one of these that you want that is based on how much, how much you want to work with the image. So click that. I always go to complex when it's something that's got just two colors that I'm working with. And let me zoom out a little bit. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I'm glad you're, you're telling us. You Good. can see. That makes me feel better. I was <laughs> nervous about that. And these next couple steps, it depends on the image, and you can play around with different things if you want. This one, I do the advanced, and then I click on reduce colors to just two, so I don't have to worry about all the different grays, tones of gray. I just switch it to two colors. Now I'm ready to go and select the image that I want. And I'm gonna crop it down. I don't want those edges on there. So Carrie's wondering what software you are in. Oh, I am using Cricut Design Space. So this one's in Cricut Design Space. If you use a silhouette, and not a problem. We've got a video where Starla does this exact same thing with one of her grandmother's recipes. So we will post that in the comments when we're done. So now I'm just selecting what I want to get rid of some of those edges. Okay, crop those out and zoom back out. And now here, I use the select and erase tool most of the time and you just select the color you don't want and it pulls all of it out. Then you can go through and click in each of the letters and pull those insides out that you don't want. And if there's lines that you want out of there, go over to the erase, change from the select and erase and go to the erase and then change the size of that eraser and then just 
erase those things out. Let me get a little bigger. There we go. And then just erase those things out. Well then, if you want the rest of the insides of the letters, keep going back into those and clicking those out. But I'm not gonna make you wait for me to do this whole thing, but that's how you do it. It's that simple. And then go to continue and it'll show you what it looks like. And mine, I didn't get all the insides out, so just kind of ignore that. And it gives you the option to save as a print then cut or to save as a cut image. And this one I will never use as a print then cut, so I'm gonna save it as a cut image. So just click on the save image, title it whatever you wanna title it, and then save it. So it's that easy to get that in there. Um, I always, let me move this off and I'll show you the rest of it. I won't make us wait through cutting it because it does take a while to cut it when there's this much detail in it. So let me move these off. Okay. Shift things around a little bit. Get some light on that as we can see. So then, once you've got it cut out, and again, it's, it takes a little while to get it cut out, depending on the image. And this one I've got cut out of our Easy Weed, and I can't remember what color that is. Looks like either burgundy or no, I can't remember the color. But it looked like it matched the towel. I wanted it to match the towel, so. <laughs> we are throwing things. I just threw the iron at Joanne. I'm sorry. We're you all good, though. Didn't We're all good. see that, but I just about, um, yeah, I just threw it right at her. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Got my heart right up. Sorry. <laughs> good catch. Glad you didn't catch it with your hand. Um, okay, so Lisa says, what is the difference between print and cut and print? Or probably cut. Yeah, print and cut um, is if it's an image, you import a picture and then you can print it on your computer, send it back to the machine, and they'll cut off, cut the outline of your image. So I'm going to show you now. Showed you this, and if you're just joining us, we're just converting handwriting into a fun gift. And this is one I did with adhesive vinyl. You can do I you can do heat transfer vinyl on wood as well, but this one's adhesive. Yeah, that's really close. So I'm going to show you how I weeded that because I know a lot of you Super. right now are thinking, "Ugh, don't want to weed that." So I'm going to show you a Super quick cool. way, quick and easy way to weed that. Um, Carol says, "What setting did you use for when you cut it out with the heat transfer?" On your Cricut. Oh, um, with the heat transfer on the Cricut, I just use the iron-on setting. And this one, I just use the vinyl setting. So this is um, Series 51. So it's the uh, permanent, and it's kind of the glossy, and that's what I used on this one. So to show you how to cut, how to weed this one out really quick, if you notice, I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just putting the transfer tape right on top. And then smooth it out really well. Which transfer tape is this? This is, this is our grid line transfer tape. And this is a good one to help you align. It's clear and it'll help you align with all the lines on it. So that's a fun one. We'll put a link to that. So smooth everything out. Then, save that piece for later. Very nice. Then turn it upside down and peel the backing off. Now, if you're still wondering what I'm doing, this, you go back in. It's almost like you're weeding heat transfer at this point. Now you peel this piece off. And this whole technique is called reverse weeding. And it is so handy when you've got little teeny things like this. So 
So then you just slowly peel that off. Try not to touch the other pieces, the other words, but keep your fingers on the transfer tape because that's not gonna do anything to the transfer tape. I know I have more words in there somewhere. <laughs> there we go. That's I can an see them. awesome trick. So then just slowly pull those pieces off. And it makes it a whole lot easier to weed, especially when all these little tiny pieces. Give us a thumbs up or let us know if you guys have ever tried this before. This is definitely a time saver. Yes. I got it stuck a little bit down there, but I think I'm okay. There we go. And if you get a lot of it on there, just start to cut pieces off. We got lots of thumbs up going across. Awesome. Yay. It is a time saver and a sanity saver when you're trying to weave this. So then keep peeling it off. Oh, let it stick down now. There we go. So if you're just tuning in, Joanne has, um, is it called, it's not called Trace in Cricut, what's it called? Um, you just, your import. Import. Yes. So this is her grandma's recipe she imported into the Cricut um, program. And then she's cutting this out in vinyl. So I won't make you wait for me to weed all of it, but see how nice that is? And then you just keep weeding the rest of the pieces. So much easier than pulling the piece off this way and hoping it doesn't pull all the little dots to your eyes and... This kept a lot of the dots to the eyes and everything like that. So, so handy to do it this way. And it's reverse weeding. If you're not quite sure how to do it, we do have a video on it. We can post that link to it. So how many, I think Jessica asked, but how many again have done the reverse weeding before? And if you didn't know, it's Jessica behind the camera. <laughs> that threw the iron at Joanne. Yeah, threw the iron at me. <laughs> we got just too many cords. I was trying to move things. and. <laughs> I promise it wasn't a kill tactic. How many people have done a project with handwriting like this, with a recipe or with handwriting? Especially this time of year, it's close to Mother's Day. Find a cute, a fun recipe or your kid's handwriting, anything like that, and it would make a fun, fun project. And I want to know, sometimes I have viewers out there that know me, relatives of mine. I want to know if they can guess which grandma this is from <laughs> if I have if they're on I don't know if they're on okay so now I did the other one in heat transfer and that one is just the same um, peel it off it's just the same kind of it's you're weeding this the right way but it's almost like reverse weeding and this part becomes a labor of love Make sure you've got keep all your letters on there as you're weeding it. Is this um, Caesar Easy Weed? Yes, this is just the Caesar Easy Weed, and I can't remember what color it is. Is it is there cardinal red? It looks. Like it might be cardinal red. red. Yeah, I think it might be. It might be cardinal red. So, and then just start weeding. And I know what lots of you are thinking right now. She's going to weed that whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't make you wait through the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I've got that much, but I won't make you wait through the whole thing. Okay, hold on. Hold that up again. Oh, you oh. got that one. This one? Here's the one I've already got done. Look how fast she is. Fast, that was, yeah. Did you see how fast I weeded that? And this is my grandma's recipe. Again, if you're just joining us, we were converting, at the very beginning, showed you how to quickly convert a picture that I took into an image that you could use as a cut file. And if you use, I use a Cricut, but if you use a Silhouette, we've got a video for that and we can post it right after this. Post it in the comments, so watch for that. So now, this one is ready to be put on a towel. I'm going to put it on a towel. Are there any questions out there? 
Um, Carol says, I always have uh, trouble cutting words, small words like that. And Stacy says, this is a game changer. <laughs> it so, is. Awesome. <clears throat> so let's hear if you guys use a cricket or a silhouette. Let us know. Yeah, let's know. Let us know which. Or machine. a brother scan and cut, or uh, or, yeah. or or <laughs> whatever machine you use. We're always curious to find out who uses what type of machine. Okay, and I'm just using our uh, multi-use paper to put this on to save it for a while. So that's another great use of the multi-use paper. And I have this towel because it kind of. It kind of reminds me of my grandma a little bit. But I want to put this on. Where is your towel from? This towel is from Ikea. But I'm sure you could find some similar at different places. This one's an Ikea one. Um, Walmart has some that I've seen lately. Just they're a white, kind of the crinkly, just a tea towel. Not a tea towel flower sack towel. Oh yeah. I don't know if people will know what I'm talking about with that, but <laughs> flower sack towel. That would have been good to put my grandma's recipe on because that would have been something she would have used. Oh, well, we got lots of crickets. Silhouette, silhouette, silhouette all the way. Yes. Brother scan and cut. Yay. Elizabeth has a maker still in the box. Get that baby get out. Out of the box. Whatever machine you have, get it out of the box. Okay, so now I'm ready to press it, and I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm just, I've just got the cover sheet here, and I'm using my iron, so anybody can, anybody can use this, can do this. So I think I was up, I didn't have the camera down. What have you got underneath you here? Oh, underneath, it's just a board that I wrapped with um, the heat transfer cover sheets, and we've got those available as well. I just wrapped it because we needed... I needed a hard surface to iron on and I'm leery on the table. I don't want to melt the table at work. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wrapped one of those around a board and it has come in so handy for a lot of different things. And then just put my, put my recipe on it. And now I'm going to press it with just the iron. So you can do this at home. And I've got my iron set just below the cotton setting. A good way to test if your iron is too hot, if you hit the corner of your sheet and it starts to crinkle, then it's way too hot. Just turn it down. This one's doing fine. And I'm not using a cover sheet. If you've got the cover sheet that comes with your iron on, that's perfectly fine to use. If that makes you a little nervous, then you can go ahead and use a cover sheet on it. So then just press it down for a few seconds. Are there any other questions that were coming in? Um, Ashley says this would make such a cool wedding gift. Yeah, this would be great. And we've got more crickets, makers, maker, and air two silhouette, Yay. silhouette. So it's a good mix. Just press that down. I want to make sure I've got all the little spots. Yeah, this would be a great Mother's wedding gift, Mother's Day gift, anything like that. So now the fun part. Did I miss a dot? Nope. Uh, did you say the say above cotton setting or below? Just below the cotton setting, but all irons are different, so you may want to check your iron and do the test on the corner. But ours we usually set just below the cotton setting. Pulling this off, I think I got them all. There we go. Cute, cute. And just for safe measure, I'm just gonna go over it again really quick. There's uh, lots of teeny tiny lines on there. Where was your towel again from? Your towel? The towel I got at IKEA. There we go. The towel is from IKEA. That is so and cute. the recipe on it. A little closer. That is so awesome. Just a fun gift idea. So personalized. If you've done one, um, after we're done with this, go ahead and post it in the comments and let us see. Because 
We'd love to see what other people have done. If you've done something like this or converted handwriting as a project, but it's so fun and easy to do. It does take a little time to cut. So you've got to let it cut out and then a little time to weed, but it's labor of love. And if you're going to use it as a gift, then it means that much more. So are there any other questions out there? Awesome. So we've got a couple people that are just tuning in and wondering how you did the first part, the writing part. Oh, okay. Um, I use Design Space for Cricut, and I just had this recipe as a picture and imported the image and then take out any of the pieces you don't want cut and then had it change it to a cut file and then use it from there. And we'll post in the comments, there's a couple different videos we've done. Starless done one on with a silhouette and then I've done some or the beginning of this on the Cricut, so you can see the different ways to do it with both of those machines. But it's it's an easy process and a fun process for a gift like this. So fun, and once you have the file, she did an adhesive project right yeah. here. I wanted to do a different one. This is adhesive, not heat transfer. And I showed at the beginning how to do reverse weeding, so if you tuned in late, go back and watch this from the beginning and you can see how we did the reverse weeding, which is, sanity saver <laughs> when you go to weed something this small with adhesive because all of us have done it it's hard and you pull up a word you pull up a letter and then yeah it ruins your project and your day <laughs> but reverse weeding is so much easier it's basically the same as weeding heat transfer so if you've got more questions keep them coming um we'll get on there and answer them and post those other links to the, the products we use. This I just used the Series 51 adhesive, which all the adhesive is on sale right now. And the grid line transfer tape, which is a fun one. It, it's got the lines on it, so it'll help you align your project if you are nervous about that. And it's also clear. And this is just the Easy Weed, Caesar Easy Weed, on this towel. So awesome. grab yourself some easy weed or some that and your iron and make a fun project from recipe. Kathy says she loves it and Lisa says I'm so excited to make this. Thanks for showing. I have a trivia question though. If you watch a lot of our videos, there's something in the background that gets moved every time a different person does a video. So if you know exactly what it is, I want you to say something. But in the background, <laughs> there's one thing that gets moved every time. So if you watch a lot of our videos, um, it, yeah, it's going to be different for different people. <laughs> so if you know, let us know what gets moved back there. <laughs> awesome. So if you've got any other questions, leave them down below and we'll get to them and hopefully you guys have a wonderful Friday. Share this with whoever wants to do a project like this. You've got friends that want to know how to do this. Go ahead and share this video and have fun making your projects. Have a good day guys.